Today I'm gonna be taking existing logos that I really like and I'm gonna redesign them so they look really bad. If you're new here, I'm Tyler, AKA Tylee Talk, and on this channel I design, redesign, and critique logos. So if that's something you're into, then consider subscribing. For today's video, I made most of these logos using either Photoshop, Illustrator, or a mix of both. I basically just made this video for fun to see how bad and how ugly I could make these logos. And it's also a way to showcase just how good I think the original logos are, especially when you compare them to something really bad. So I remade eight logos for this video. Starbucks, Coca-Cola, McDonald's, Google, Nike, Apple, Burger King, and Shell. And I wanted to challenge myself to make them all look different, like not super similar to each other. Go ahead and let me know in the comments which logos you'd like me to redesign and make look bad next. And let's go ahead and get started. First we have Starbucks. I started by finding the ugliest brown I could and making it be like a box. And then I thought it'd be funny to make a coffee cup where the steam was actually the S with this really generic cursive font at the top and this really bad font that says coffee shop below it. And here's the final result. It is hideous. I really feel like the color font choices and just overall style make this one look like it's a very small town coffee shop. One where you might get like a really scalding hot burnt coffee in like a styrofoam cup. But that's exactly the vibe I was going for, so I think this redesign is a success, but the logo itself would be like a one out of 10 if I saw that on the side of the road. Second, I did Coca-Cola. I started by finding kind of like a generic looking font. I added a bevel and emboss to it and to top it all off, added a really dark drop shadow. This one reminds me of the old Google logo a little bit with the colors and the way that it's kind of got that chiaroscuro and the drop shadow on it. I can't even imagine what this would look like on a can or bottle. I think you might see this somewhere like at a dollar store on like one of those off-brand colas. I definitely don't think I would be drawn to it on the shelves though, like I am with the actual Coke logo. For McDonald's, I started off with the square and I found this god awful font that I typed a capital M with. Then I decided to make that this really ugly purple and yellow gradient effect. And to top it all off, for some reason I decided to draw a hamburger in the same style of gradients. And this looks so bad. This one, to me, I just can't stop thinking that it looks like a poorly designed realtor sign. I love my color choices for this one because it just looks ugly. I actually weirdly don't hate the shape that I created for the burger with those lines, but the font, color choices, and just the overall vibe make this a standout ugly logo too. Lastly for Google, I found this really weird bold font and I made them all the colors of Google, but I made them like very dark and like kind of off. Then I kind of put them all together in this weird jumble effect. This one's giving off bad vibes. <laughs> The font and the placement just make it look like something you might see on the side of like a preschool. But the muddy colors that I chose are just not appealing at all. I think if Google changed their logo to this, then Bing might quickly overtake them. We have Nike. I found this font that I thought looked really generic and I played with it a little bit, but I knew I wanted to make it either wavy or distorted somehow. Also, I knew I wanted to draw kind of like a clip art check mark. So I put that all together and I finally gave it a bevel and here's the final result. Yikes, this one just looks so outdated. <laughs> The swoosh being changed to a check mark is really just like icing on the cake for making this one look not great. I don't think I would buy shoes or clothes from a brand that had this logo on it, but I might trust them to do my taxes. Overall, I don't think this one's the ugliest one in the bunch, but it definitely achieved that style that I was going for with it. Up next we have Apple. I started by making these kind of shoddy 3D apples. Then I found this kind of like school textbook font and made it say Apple. Then I took the apples I made and made them the peas and finally rounded it all off with a heavy drop shadow. Wow, this one is hideous. And the drop shadows are just adding to that extra level of ugliness. The font and the cliche use of the apples in the P, for some reason they're just bringing back like the vibes of an old poster that you might've bought at a book fair in middle school. It definitely doesn't read as a tech company anymore. And I think to add another cliche level, all you would need to do is add a worm to it. This one is a rotten logo. For Burger King, I ended up going with two different fonts because I always hate when logos do that, but made them the same size. I drew burger buns and a crown, and obviously I had to go with the gradient. I added some kind of cliche diamonds and sparkles to the whole thing, and here's the final result. Wow, this one just has so much going on. Between the gradients, fonts, strokes that the crown has, and the starburst, it's just a lot. I mean, there's no arguing this is a bad logo. I know it isn't for pizza, but for some reason I'm just like, can't get out of my mind that this looks like 
a sign that you might see for like a pizza shop in a really small town in the Midwest. Finally, I did shell. I knew I wanted to do it in a cursive font and I drew this kind of generic looking seashell that I connected to the text. And then on the other side, I drew a gas pump. All right, this one is the last one of the day. And I have to admit that honestly, it's probably the best one and my favorite in terms of if it was an actual logo. It definitely doesn't look modern, especially with the font choice I made. However, I kind of like the shell design and the actual little gas pump that I made coming off of it. And overall, how it's just one continuous line, I, I do like that part. Well, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoy seeing how I made all these. Again, this is just for fun. I absolutely love how bad all of these turned out. Hey, this is tomorrow, Tyler jumping back in here. I forgot to film this part yesterday, but basically I have an idea for a video where I look at your all's logos and possibly your art that you've designed for either your personal brand or for a company or something like that and maybe just talk about them, talk about things I like, maybe even redesign them. So if you have any logos or art that you've made, I'll be putting a Google form in the comments below and I'd love to see anything you all have created and it could possibly be in one of the future videos. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, and let me know down in the comments which one of these you think is the ugliest logo I made. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.